You know, obviously, when whenever we're presented with information, we have to um, uh, ask questions about the veracity uh, of that information. What is the, the sort of uh, chain of evidence uh, of that information? How did it how did it get to us? In my mind, the most likely explanation for for these images, the footage that we saw, is some uh, artifact in the detectors, uh, uh, so that it produces uh, uh, spurious uh, images that are not real, uh, that they move in strange ways that we couldn't, cannot really understand. But there is very little chance that these are uh, extraterrestrial in origin. I, I think that there are many, many uh, explanations for what you see in those videos that are far more mundane uh, than, than the visitation of the Earth by, by extraterrestrial life. It could be some sort of uh, atmospheric phenomena, um, perhaps uh, some mylar balloon that's uh, floating along the, the surface of the ocean. Um, it could be an artifact of the instrument itself. I, I think the best approach is, again, it's Occam's razor. You know, the, uh, uh, the, what is the simplest explanation of this phenomenon? I think the first, the very first thing that people look at is that, that uh, this, is a, this, this is an artifact of the detectors they have. It machines on the, on the, on the air, aircraft. Radars and all these systems tend to have ghosts, they're called anyhow. It's sort of a, you know, they're funny reflections and so on. Uh, this didn't look to me like it was a, a ghost, but the next thing is, uh, of course, there's a natural phenomenon. There's some sort of uh, people have detected or seen things that are glints off the water and, you know, sunlight. Uh, it doesn't seem that that's the case here because these things seem to be moving fairly quickly. And, and did seem to maneuver. And then the next thing is, well, okay, this is something that was being tested, either by us or somebody else. You know, then you start going to more exotic explanations that, you know, maybe there's some funny physics phenomenon we don't understand, uh, like ball lightning. Uh, you know, and, 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 and in fact, if that's the case, it may have been that the military decided to release it just to see what experts think. Uh, now, I, I will say that there is, a, there is another explanation that, uh, uh, you know, quite often, or not quite often, that 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 sometimes a uh, uh, you know to distract people, they come up with a story that is complete rubbish. You know, as a scientist, uh, I'm I'm very interested in getting the very best data on any kind of phenomena that that exists, and if. Um, an astronomer uh, claimed that they had detected an extrasolar planet and their evidence for the detection of that extrasolar planet was a grainy video of them sitting in front of a telescope looking out into the night sky and exclaiming that they see uh, an extrasolar planet. I, I would never accept that as a scientist. Uh, what I would want to see is, is actual data from the telescope itself. I would you know, want to see the the, the, the bit stream from, from the device itself, the actual uh, ones and zeros that, that come out of the instrument attached to the back of the telescope. Um, but what we have in, in these videos are, 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 are really not that. They are uh, compressed, grainy videos of uncertain origin with very little metadata, very little uh, additional information about the circumstances under which they were collected, um, released with, uh, with, with very little uh, uh, description. And, and so it's, it's difficult, I think, to draw any conclusion uh, from such, such poor data, especially uh, a conclusion as monumental uh, as that the Earth were being visited by extraterrestrial intelligence. I am not aware of any, uh, you know, highly unusual activity that is somehow the, related to the you know, there's some secret UFO program. So, you know, I just preface that. Now, that doesn't mean they don't exist. <laughs> it, it uh, uh, you know, there's, there's almost nobody that's clear in everything. Uh, uh, on the other hand, I tend to try to use uh, Occam's razor on these events. 
and say that uh, when you see a, uh, an unusual event, uh, you know, that you try to figure out what is the, the least spectacular definition or, or, or explanation for it. And I think that the level of skepticism should be commensurate with uh, the, um, the, the, the profoundness of, of the information. Um, if, the, if the implication of, of the information is, is very, very great, the skepticism should in turn be, be very, very great. Uh, and I think that if you, if you take that skeptical eye to these videos, uh, it's, it's, it's very, very hard uh, to be convinced that they truly represent bona fide evidence of, uh, of extraterrestrial contact here on Earth. Uh, I don't think these reports are um, credible uh, as uh, signals of uh, technologies uh, from, from advanced uh, civilizations, um, simply uh, because uh, they are not reproducible. They do not stand up to the scrutiny of scientific um, standards. Um, and um, in particular, are, um, there are always uh, UFO reports that are on the margin of uh, being detected uh, with existing instruments, uh, while the instruments themselves improve over time. I would not say it's never aliens because eventually it will be. Uh, uh, science is based on uh, experimentation, observation, looking for evidence, and one should not have a prejudice about the outcome before analyzing the data. You know, I think probably the least likely thing is either aliens visiting us. Uh, you know, although it's, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's zero, but it's pretty close to zero. You know, as, uh, as part of the Breakthrough Initiative, we have the Breakthrough Listen program, and we, there have been thousands of scientists uh, seriously looking for, for evidence of uh, uh, external civilization. and. And you know, to date, we've found nothing that's uh, that's at all well uh, documented and highly unusual that would that would explain that. Now, that doesn't mean we're not, you know, it's not there. But these kind of things uh, that they were fairly easy to track using our technology. So I would expect if there was a lot of, you know, uh, activity like that that's going on somehow off this planet, we, uh, you know, we should have been able to see it. I think that it really is the same. Um, fundamental sense of awe and wonder about the possibility of life beyond the earth uh, that, that drives science fiction uh, and drives, you know, the, the UFO phenomenon as drives uh, our scientific search for um, extraterrestrial intelligence. And uh, I think that uh, we can uh, certainly find, find kinship uh, as, as scientists with the wider public uh, in our, our shared um, passion for this topic. Thank you.